Hello, Virgo. It's my lady from Malay's Way Tarot, and I'm coming to do your weekly reading, weekly love reading for the week of 9 24 through October 1st, 2017. The cards I am using today are Oracle of the Mermaid cards by Lucy Cavendish. And I close off with my Miss Cleo cards. I like to read those straight out the book to ensure you get your full message. I want to thank everybody for like, sharing, subscribing, and, and setting up personal readings. If you want one, check in the description box below. Email me. We can set something up. But here is saying that um, you really care about a relationship, but it's taking you to a negative place. And um, you, it's time to make some decisions about that. It seems like you've been making some unwise decisions about this person in the past, but now it's like, Maybe you should, because, I mean, this is like saying you're still making unwise decisions, and I'm feeling like it's sticking around or letting this person do what they want to do. So it's like you got to let them know what's going on. But make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs, and let's get this show on the road. All right, what's going on? Third-party situations. Um, What's going on with the Virgo, 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 for the week of September 24th through October 1st? 2017 Virgo love reading Virgo love reading Virgo love reading September 21st through September 24th through October 1st September 24th through October 1st All right so it seems like somebody feel like they better than you because of some kind of um class or religious or some kind of issue some kind of society issue and they started treating you different. So I feel like maybe you guys were hiding your um, relationship for a while. And then when y'all brought it out, um, this person started feeling, making you feel different or like just feeling different. So this person is leaving you and coming back, leaving you and coming back. And I feel like it's related to that social uh, religious difference. They feel like they're better than you in some way. All right, Virgo, 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 Virgo. Love reading. All right, so right now your self-esteem is down. You're not loving yourself like you should. You don't feel beautiful or anything. You don't feel like yourself. Um, it seems like uh, the, your partner is uh, sucking the life out of you emotionally. Okay, like you're giving and giving and giving, and it's like a bottomless pit. Nothing is good enough. Uh, there we go. And it's just because this person thinks they're better than you, or you think you're better than your partner because of a, a class or social differences or monetary, whatever. All right, so there is some manipulation going on. And that's what's draining you. You know, this person is trying to make you guys go, I want to say back in the closet, but make y'all go like back underground and not tell anybody about your relationship. And it's really starting to dig in. It's really starting to make you feel hurt. It's hurting you. Yeah, so you're thinking about leaving this situation because of all the the situ um things going on. You think about going on and, and being by yourself so you can reclaim your self-esteem. Okay, so yeah, you're dealing with an arrogant person who just feels like they deserve everything and you should do what they say, you know? Or this could be you. Okay, there's a third party situation going on. Um whew. So you may be in a relationship where this person has more, like they can have multiple wives or something, or just like you're in a relationship and you know this person, like y'all got some kind of connection. So uh, maybe it's just a relationship with just more than one of you and it's known. It's not like a big deal. All right. So, um, seems like you guys are still sexually active, but it's like the freedom 
is is coming and it's gonna come within the next two weeks so it's like either do it or or it's gonna be done yeah yeah you're trying to hold your hold it hold it to you trying to slow it down but it's gonna happen that's like inevitable all right so what's going on for the virgo 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 love reading september 24th through october 1st 2017 September 24th through October 1st, 2017. And it seems like um, the relationship may end that way. Like, with this person treating you like this, this could be you going off and getting a third party. But I think in the end, you know, you guys are going to end up not together. All right. What's going on with September 24th through October 1st? Oh, that's way too many. Love reading, love reading, love reading. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. All right. Yeah, choices to be made. Making a blind choice. Oh, jeez. The whole deck just want to fall out for you guys. All right. That's a, a give and take relationship, you know? You got to give to give. Yeah, I mean, this is uh, saying to me that you got to make a choice. You got to make a choice to leave or stay or whatever. Let's see what this is talking about. Okay, so this might be a divorce for some people. But it's like you want to give and take relationship, but it's like you got a choice to make. You don't want to make this choice, but I feel like it's going to be made no matter what. And I feel like you might be trying to find some balance in your life to um, come out of this uh, constant feeling of heartbreak and you feel like div divorce is the answer, separation of some kind. All right, yeah, there we go. I mean, dropping everything is late. It's, it's just that time, okay? All right, so first we got the two of swords, and this is upright, and it says a choice between... Two things may occur. Look for people that offer friendship and mutual respect for guidance. So yeah, you're gonna get it find you gotta go look for somebody that gives you that balance, you know, that gives you the respect that, that you give them. Okay. Treat you like you treat them. Wanna go out like you wanna go out, you know, not just staying in the house, nobody can see us all the time. All right, so we got the six of coins. You may receive unexpected money, a time of economic gang approaches. Um, if your hand is out to give, your hand will be out to receive. So this is like, just, I mean, I don't know. It's just basically saying, just uh, put yourself in a relationship or a situation where there's more give and take and not just take. I feel like this is more emotionally, you being taken emotionally. And it's telling you to push yourself to a place where... Or a situation where um, there's more evenness when, with emotion. All right, so we have the Three of Swords reverse. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, now the Swords want to hide. All right, Three of Swords reverse. Emotion of denial, lack of focus or direction, and harsh self-criticism. That goes back to this... Um, so, um, I said selfish, but this, um, self-esteem issue, like you felt like you failed in this relationship because this person is manipulating you to feel that way. But it's like, once you drop everything, you'll be fine. All right. So we got the tennis, uh, staffs reverse. Oh man. I just like felt like a panic attack a little bit. All right. So. We have the Ten of Staffs as reverse that says emotional trauma, difficulties, intrigues, and deceptions. So that goes back here and into the uh, emotionally draining card. You know, you just don't know what to do right now. You want to get up and leave, but you really care about this relationship. But it's like either do it or it's going to be done. 
But that's all I have for you guys. M um, make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs. If you're on a personal read, check in the description box below. Other than that, have a great week.